Hey guys, I'm here today with my September book haul. Um, I didn't get too many books this month, but the ones that I got I'm super excited about and I can't wait to show you. So first up are three books that I got from Candlewick Press, and the first of which is called The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. So you might recognize her name. Um, she's actually the author of The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, which is one of my favorite books of all time. And it's been quite a while since she published that, so I'm very excited about this book. So this book is quite different from her first, um, but one thing that is similar is that it's still a multi-generational novel about women in a family. It takes place in the Pacific Northwest, which is actually where I live and where I've explored the most in the world, so that was really cool. I have read it already and I really enjoyed it. It's essentially about a family that lives on this small island, um, and they are they've been accused of being witches um, for many generations. I really enjoyed it because it's not like stereotypical witches and um, it feels like a very contemporary setting with just a little bit of magic thrown in there. Um, I don't really want to say too much more than that because I think it's a book that is nice to like reveal itself to you as you read it. I did want to mention a trigger warning for self-harm though because it is something that is talked about a lot throughout the story. Um, it's not too graphic, but if that is something that bothers you, I wouldn't recommend this one. But if you're okay reading stuff like that, I just thought this was a really beautiful book. This one comes out in March of 2018. And next up is The Stars at October Bend by Glenda Millard. First of all, this cover is absolutely stunning, and I'm very hopeful that the story inside will also be beautiful. Um, it's essentially about two teens and they're living in like a small town. We have Alice, who it seems like she's gone through a traumatic event, I'm not sure what, but She's essentially gone mute and she has a lot of trouble verbalizing her feelings. Um, one thing that she kind of finds relief in is writing down poems and sticking them in random places around town. And then the other main character is Manny and he's actually a former child soldier who has now been brought to this new town with a new family and he's just trying to come to grips with the things that he's had to do in his past. One day Manny finds one of the poems that Alice has left around town and I think from there they might form a friendship of some sort. Um, this just sounds like it's going to be a really deep and moving story, which I really enjoy, so I'm quite excited to pick it up. And this one comes out in May of 2018. And the last book that Candlewick sent me was The Radical Element, which is a short story anthology featuring 12 different stories of daredevils, debutantes, and other dauntless girls. And uh, it's an anthology that was edited by Jessica Spotwood. So it says on the back here that in The Radical Element, 12 of the most talented writers working in young adult literature today tell the stories of girls of diverse colors and creeds standing up for themselves and their beliefs. Whether that means secretly learning Hebrew in early Savannah, using the family magic to pass as white in 1920s Hollywood, or singing in a feminist punk band in 1980s Boston, and they're asking you to join them. And if that doesn't sound awesome, I don't know what does. So we've got stories in here from authors like Dahlia Adler, Aaron Bowman, Danielle Clayton, Mackenzie Lee, Anna Marie McLemore, and many others, and it just sounds like it's gonna be absolutely incredible. So this book comes out in March of 2018, and I definitely think you should add it to your TBRs. Next up is a book that I got from Macmillan to review, and it's called The Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. Now, I don't know a whole lot about the plot of this book, but what I do know is that it is a book featured around Vikings, and that's all I needed to know. I cannot wait to read it. I've never read a book um, centered around Viking mythology, and it's just gonna be awesome. I've heard a lot of great things from people who've already read this book, and I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. It comes out in June of 2018. And next up are a couple of books that I bought for myself because I had to have them. The first is Wicked Like a Wildfire by Lana Popovic. I actually read this book way back when it was still in manuscript form, and I absolutely fell in love with it, so I had to get my own finished copy. It also has probably the best cover that I've seen in a very long time, so I'm very excited to have it on my shelf. So this story is about two twin sisters, Iris and Melina, and all of the women in their family have always been born with an ability to manipulate beauty in some way. For their entire lives, Iris and Melina's mother has forbid them from sharing their magic with anyone and has also forbid them from falling in love, and um, the story kind of starts off when the sisters are sick of listening to their mother and decide to begin rebelling in secret. One day, someone comes and actually attacks their mother and leaves her hovering between life and death, and the twin sisters have to kind of 
get together and um, uncover some like different ancient curses and secrets in order to save her. I absolutely loved how the magic was described in this book and I also really adored the setting. It takes place in Montenegro which I've never read a story that takes place there and it was just absolutely beautifully written and I just loved how this story really focused on the relationship between these different women and the bonds of sisterhood and I just thought it was an excellent excellent book. And next up is They Both Die at the End by my lovely friend Adam Silvera. So this story takes place in an alternative version of New York City where it's become custom for a company called Deathcast to call you on the day that you're about to die. So this story is about two teenage boys, Rufus and Mateo, who both receive the call that they are going to die on September 5th. They're both incredibly different characters and they're brought together by an app called the Last Friend app, which um, allows people to connect and find someone to spend their final day with. So although this book definitely has a sad premise, I really did enjoy it because most of it is just their adventures together throughout New York City, getting to know each other and trying to live life to the fullest. I found the overall moral of the story to be very touching and if you are a fan of Adam's other books, I definitely think you'll enjoy this one as well. It debuted at number five on the New York Times bestseller list and I am just so proud of Adam. So I definitely think that you should pick this one up if you haven't already. And the last book that I wanted to share with you guys was Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo. Now, I only read Leigh Bardugo goes books for the first time this year but I absolutely fell in love with her writing especially how she writes different characters she just makes them feel so human um, I'm not like the biggest Wonder Woman fan I watched the movie and I did enjoy it um, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna pick this one up but then I just saw nothing but glowing reviews for it so I wanted to check it out for myself so this story takes place when Diana is a teenager living on the island with the other Amazon women um, it's always been incredibly important that this island remains secret and that no one can discover it So it's always been against the law for mortals to visit it one day Diana witnesses a shipwreck off the shore of the island And she makes a rash decision to go and rescue a girl from the shipwreck. I don't know much more than that I literally just started reading this last night, but I'm already extremely hooked and I can't wait to see where it goes I've heard that it's just a wonderful story about friendship primarily and I'm excited to see what Leigh Bardugo does with this story. Alright, so those were the books that I received this month. Let me know if you guys are excited by any of the books that I shared. Let me know what books you picked up this month. I would love to hear about it. As per usual, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Bye!